Hello my fellow Uyen and welcome to Day of the Uyen TV and our weekly recap. This week was awesome. Wanna see what we got? Let's roll! This week's games are Neon Shadow by Tasty Poison Games, Octopuzzle by Mad Multimedia, Luxuria Superbia by Tale of Tales and Abduction Action by Fun Infused Games. So for all of you who haven't heard of the current number 2 in the O rank, here's Neon Shadow which is probably the best FPS on the Uya. Reminiscent of old school shooters such as Doom and Quake, Neon Shadow brings back good memories and at the same time feels very modern. The story isn't too shabby either, you arrive at a space station as a mercenary tasked with finding out what's going on. Contact has been lost and you are one of the best of the best at your job in the universe. Turns out the station's AI has taken over control and after landing you're cut off from all communication between the outside world and you. Now you better watch out because all robots are out to kill you. I absolutely loved how Neon Shadow played, the controls were surprisingly well done and it didn't even feel like I was playing an FPS on a console. The speed of the movements and aiming was brilliant and the level design in combination with the controls really gave the good old Quake vibe. One thing I couldn't test properly was online play. I'm guessing my Ouya felt that I was too superior to everybody online and constantly gave me a connection lost warning while the others seemed to enjoy flawless online sessions. From what I saw in between my disconnects, the online multiplayer seemed to be lots of fun. All in all, Neon Shadow deserves our Game of the Week award for its entire package. Since Neon Shadow is not that family friendly, you might enjoy Octopuzzle with your kids. In Octopuzzle you need to solve puzzles in an extraordinary way. With your octopus you need to shoot at various fish, locks and treasure chests to advance to the next level. To aim where you want to shoot, you use a little worm that is forever grateful after you freed it from a fishing line. I thoroughly enjoyed Octopuzzle because the controls were very intuitive and the graphics and the general setting was extremely fun to look at. If you have kids or just enjoy puzzle games, I'd highly recommend you give Octopuzzle a try. Next in line is Luxuria Superbia, which is a game that I don't quite know how to feel about. Luxuria is a game that has fantastic graphics and awesome sounds, respectively music. The concept of continuous travel through an endless tunnel isn't all that unfamiliar. But in this game, the tunnel is a symbolic tunnel, or let's say a metaphor for something else. The game tells you that the tunnel is a flower which enjoys being colored. While playing, the flower talks to you and gives you instructions that scream for more touch, um, I mean colors. Okay, so we're all adults here. The flower is actually a vagina. Yeah, I said it. The goal is to get the flower to an orgasm by gently touching it in the right spots, but not too much to avoid overstimulation. When you're not careful and color too much before the flower is ready, you shorten the orgasm and then it's time to move on to the next flower. You control the touches with the two analog sticks, so your two thumbs. Once I finally realized what I was doing, I kinda felt weird. I don't feel mature enough to play these type of games. But anyway, awesome graphics and sound. Try it out. Our last game this week is Abduction Action which at first look isn't all that appealing but the gameplay makes up for the crappy graphics. In Abduction Action you're an alien who's training to be a professional earthling kidnapper. Your boss is your brother-in-law who had to give you this position even though you're not really qualified. So far so good and you have to start proving yourself by first learning the controls of the ship and then kidnapping chicken and cows and eventually you fight against crazy farmers, goons in pickups and many more. I wasn't expecting to be enjoying abduction action since the thumbnail in the discover store is not that great and the screenshots don't really do it justice. I guess you can have a few fun rounds in this game and maybe you're going to like it. That's already it for this week, hope you found one or two games that are worth your time. If you did, like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next week, bye!